Hey there, I'm the lupus liar, Helena. Looping in lupus while in the lair. Say that five times fast. I'm bringing you a loop of lupus news and information that I think you may find or consider relevant. A company, a company called Lupus Therapeutics, is uh, collaborating with Takeda Pharmaceutical Company Limited to evaluate the investigational biologic TAK-079 as a potential new lupus therapy. The phase one trial will be conducted in about 20 research centers throughout the U.S., many of which are members of the Lupus Therapeutics Lupus Clinical Investigators Network, or called LUCIN. So watch for some news and we'd love to see what comes out of that. Did you know that reading improves your concentration, reduces stress, and helps you build your self-esteem? And it inspires. So here's some inspirational books for those having a tough time with meditation. It's called Meditation for Beginners by Jack Cornfield. I've read it and I, and I like it. It started me off to meditate more calmly. Diabetes that develops during pregnancy is a potentially serious complication. So consider the aspects of this complications with diabetes and pregnancy also if you're diagnosed with lupus and you're pregnant so talk to your physician about any screening prevention and any care that you can get in terms of that also did you know that lupus not only improves flexibility and posture it helps you maintain a faster metabolism so i think i need to yoga myself on out sooner or later in my clinical research minute the lupus foundation of america announces the release of their inside lupus research one-stop website resource for lupus people who are interested in research like researching discoveries of new clinical trials new medications just check it out if you're interested in taking advantage of any new treatments or you just want to learn more about new lupus research initiatives. I think it's something that's worth checking out. Well, we all have brains. I have a brain. You have a brain. We all have brains. And we can also experience depression because of our brains. Yes, there are different forms of depression. Depression can surface differently. Either it's because of our, what we're diagnosed, what we inherited. Yet, if you suspect depression, especially with the things that you're going through in terms of living with lupus, be sure to ask your physician to consider testing you for all types of depressions so that proper treatment can be planned and devised and followed. So depression is not just one type. So make sure you check it out and get your physician to check it out. If you want to learn a little bit more about depression, go to www.bbrfoundation.org. Lots of great information. Did you know that signs of iron deficiency shouldn't be ignored it includes a paleness and an unusual fatigue a little bit more different than your lupus so you want to gauge that when it comes with lupus and your fatigue one thing you can do is look at your eyelids for paleness so if you're looking at your eyelids and you're noticing that they look a little pale it's because the hemoglobin is made of red blood cells that's what gives it its red color and so the deficiency of these hemoglobin makes it less red all right so how about this genetically engineered immune cells wiped out lupus in mice yeah i couldn't believe that either it seems that scientists have found a treatment that wipes out the immune system's b cells which substituted as lupus in mice like any new research is still being tested but what breakthrough what a breakthrough i mean that's just neat so i really like to see what happens with that but compared to it's compared to a therapy um and it ought to be interesting to see because compared to a therapy that's known for blood cancer Here's my quote of the week, you guys. I hope it inspires you. What's meant to be will always find a way. And that's from Trisha Yearwood. That's right. What's meant to be will always find a way. For more quick news, you can loop in with lupus and sign up for my newsletter. I'd love to hear from you soon. Bye, you guys. Until next time.